And the last of eight, and it lines up this way. We run the 1,650 metre course for the final race, and it's a Class 3. Spirit and Express is on the class drop, and he comes from the all-weather back to the turf. Red Majesty's an eight-time course and distance winner. Dynamic Spirit's up in trip to the 1,650. On point to Happy Valley for just the second time. Dr Winning has the pacifiers off. Storm Legend, he gets the cheek pieces on. Keen Unity has a gear change to a tongue tie on and nothing impossible. No blinkers this week, but the cheek pieces will be added, Nick. They certainly will. Um, Jade Phoenix um, wears cheek pieces also and uh, he likes to lead, so that's probably where he will end up from gate number seven. Should be a decent enough pace on here. On point can sit prominently. Did actually go forward on his last start. Uh, Majestic victory. Um, caught a little bit deep perhaps from 11, but we know that he's got plenty of boot. And uh, Well, Red Majesty Paul, um, he knows his way around here. He does, and uh, he's got plenty of pace as well. The, th the thing here is On Point and Jade Phoenix are from the same stable, so they won't take e each other on. So I thought On Point will let Jade Phoenix go. Uh, Spirit Express, he's coming here. He'll, he'll go back, I think, from his wide draw. Our first replay, though, Nick, is Storm Legend, who is uh, having yet another go at trying to break through. He hasn't been too far away. Can he do it this week? I hope so. Um, I think he's a decent chance. Um, I know he's yet to do it in 16. Jai McNeil uh, is going on board here, and um, he's got a little bit less weight to carry as well, two pounds less than last time, which I think was a really good run uh, behind Amazing One Plus, and hopefully pull the, the cheek pieces work. Yeah, I've got, I've got him in. He's, he's been so consistent, hasn't he, this horse? Dynamic Spirit, uh, Paul has had the three starts, two at Sha Tin, one at Happy Valley last time over the 1200. It was a slick finish by the Brazilian bred. Yeah, this was a better run for sure, wasn't it? He, he got really well back, he hit the line strongly. I think he's going to be a lot handier in the run as well uh, from, from this one, but um, I didn't quite get him in, but it was a, a nice enough run. There's definitely improvement there. Yeah, Tripp's going to suit him as well. I think I think the further he goes, the, the better he can perform. So uh, up to 16.50, looks a bit of a plus. Red Majesty, Nick. Eight-time winner course and distance. He gets a claim this week from a good draw. Zone D, this was a big effort because he circled the field. It was a different sort of run from Zone D as far as tactics go. Yeah, it was. And um, he's another horse with uh, plenty of uh, course and distance form. He's actually won a couple from nine. Um, and that run last time behind Red Majesty, obviously this one we're taking a look at was very good. Um, as for Red Majesty, look, he's, he's plenty high enough in the weights. He's off a mark of 77, but um, he certainly doesn't know them anything. Yeah, I think with Zone D's fourth up now, he's very fit going into this race, and I think he can win this race. I think he can turn the tables. It took a long time, this horse, Paul, to break through. Exceptional nice. It was start number 25 when he did it. Comes back up in grade. Is he the sort of horse that could now? He's won one go and make it two in a row? Well, he's waited to do it. I mean, he's off this rating of 61. We, we have seen these horses that take a long time uh, eventually um, put them together. I wanted to keep him safe because he'd been very consistent before winning this race and he did win it easy enough. I've got him in on a minor line. Yeah, look, I, look, he deserves his chance, I think, on the back of winning one. And, um, I mean, let's not forget, I know before he was able to win, he had some very decent place form sort of in this sort of grade. So mm. he's not without a chance. He yeah. does. He's a uh, pretty consistent animal and deserved that win. So that's exceptional nice, but it's Zone D on top. Yeah, I think Zone D can, can win the last here. Um, Zach Purden aboard, fourth up, really good run last time, and I think he's ready to win. Storm Legends, consistent without winning, exceptional nice. Did have that win, as you say, he's been placed in the grade numerous times. And on point, he's only had the one start at Happy Valley and was sort of crowded out of it at the start there, so it was excuses, and he's going to be on the pace here on the C-plus recourse. Four, nine, ten, and five. Yeah, I've got the nine on top here, Storm Legend. Not willing to uh, desert him just yet. I've been with him a couple of times. He's run some nice races and cheek pieces going on. Hopefully uh, that will help him get the job done. Uh, Zone D in for second, racing well. Finds a suitable sort of race and plenty of course and distance form. Exceptional nice. Uh, managed to get the head in front uh, last time for the first time uh, here in Hong Kong. So we'll, we'll keep him on side as well. And uh, Jade Phoenix, possible pace, horse number eight. Another one in form, but this does demand a little bit more. Nine, four, ten and eight for me. And there you have it, the preview for race eight, the last at Happy Valley. A reminder again, the first on the seacourse of the eight races gets underway at 7.15.